Hi, I'm Xiangtao Xu. I'm a new assistant professor in the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology. And I study ecological modeling and forecasting, uh, as well as uh, vegetation environment interactions. Currently, my research focuses on a tropical forest like Amazon, but my research also extends to temperate forests and other uh, important terrestrial ecosystems. It's always recommended or sometimes re required for a modeler to actually see the ecosystem they're modeling. Uh, so that they get understand what are the key processes and uh, what are processes that are missing. So when you interpret the results, you know, oh, this, is a, this doesn't match the observation, not because the model is wrong, it's just because the model does not represent this particular process. So then you get a better understanding of how can you use your model, right? For example, there are like other things going on, uh, like the tree can grow well because uh, they hire ants as they are def uh, def uh, to defend themselves. Well, in the model, we don't represent that. Or uh, they might grow better because they can uh, fix nitrogen from the air. Well, there is, uh, we, we, can't repre uh, we didn't represent them in the model. So they're all kind of uh, um, uh, you know, interesting processes that we might not have represented in the model. I think CALS as a whole provides a lot of new opportunities uh, for example, for example, combining theoretical ecology with more applied side of the ecology, like forestry and other agriculture components. So I think it would be a very cool uh, opportunity for me to, uh, to extend my uh, research program.